In this problem, we're told to find how many electrons make up a charge of minus 38 microcoulombs, right? So we're trying to find uh, how many electrons are in minus 38 microcoulombs. And so what we want to do first, right? So let's think about how we're going to do this. So what we want to do is, or what we know, one coulomb, or sorry, one electron is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 uh, coulombs, right? So if we want to find how many electrons make up a charge of this, what we're going to do is convert this into coulombs and then we're going to take this all right take whatever coulombs is and convert it into electrons all right so first we need to convert this into coulombs and then convert from coulombs to electrons so what we want to do is go from micro coulombs to just coulombs and we know that there's a million micro coulombs right one million micro coulombs for every single one coulomb right so if we want to convert this to coulombs you just want to divide basically by one million microcoulombs, that'll cancel that out and you'll just have coulombs, right? So now we just have uh, this right here and then we want to convert from coulombs to electrons, right? And we know that one electron is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, but keep in mind that this charge is negative, right? So this number is actually going to be negative. So it's equal to minus uh, 1.602. So minus 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 uh, coulombs, right? And we know that's equal to one electron, right? So this will cancel the coulombs, and then we just convert from uh, this, right, minus 38 microcoulombs all the way to electrons, right? So if you go ahead and do this, minus 38 divide by a million basically, and then divide by 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19, you're going to get it equals about minus 2. Point, or sorry, these minus signs are going to cancel, right? So these cancel. And then you're just going to have positive 2.37 times 10 to the 14. So this is going to be electrons, right? So 2.37 times 10 to the 14 electrons. Uh, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.